Okay, you are in the kitchen with John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. And tonight is cabbage kielbasa and applewood bacon. And maybe a little bit of butter and a little bit of chicken broth. I did this video about a year and a half ago in an Instant Pot. And I've changed it just a little bit from that. It's an excellent recipe to feed your family with. And it uh, sometimes we, we keep it in the refrigerator and eat on it two or three days. And uh, it works fantastic. It's great. You're going to love it. Y'all hang on. I'm going to bring y'all around here in just a second. Put y'all over here where y'all always go. And we're going to get this started. And I will be right back. Okay, so as far as ingredients, I will take this fairly large head of cabbage, by the way. And I'll take this paring knife and I'm going to cut that core out. I'll cut it out and just get it out of there. And then I will cut that in as many wedges as I can comfortably get. And then I'll cut that in half a couple of times. I mean, my target's going to be say that big but if some end up that big it's, it's not a big deal the next is i'm going to take three slices of this apple smithfield applewood bacon and i'll cut it into small pieces and get that started first by the way and then i'll start adding stuff like this right here which we love now and i think it works better in this recipe than anything i've ever used and it's uncured kielbasa from boar's head i mean the uncured part i think is what means the difference uh Half of this Vidalia onion, I'm going to cut it and chop it fairly fine. I, we're not big on onions, so we don't like chunks. I like it. I'm going to put them in early where they'll cook out a little bit. Uh, well, a cup and a half of this chicken broth and, uh, and pepper, of course. Now, this, I'm not obviously not using all this butter. About a quarter of a stick of this European-style unsalted butter. There's plenty of salt here, so I'm using unsalted and... I really like this butter, and I'll probably put that, I mean, I'm going to put that on pretty much after it's done. It's just to coat that cabbage to give it a little slicker taste and a little better flavor, and I just think it works well. So, I'm going to get some of this cut up, get it started, and we're going to get the Ninja going, get it heated up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's pretty much everything prepared. There's my bacon, my three strips cut up. I'm going to turn the Ninja on. And I'm going to set it to sa uh, sear saute shortly. I don't want to drop them in hot. I, I put them in cool. That way it doesn't splatter all over you. But I'm going to put those in, let them go a minute. And then I'm going to drop those onions pretty close behind that because I like those done. And then we're going to brown those in that bacon fat soon after that. Now here's where I cored the, uh, the cabbage. And all I'm going to do is, like I said, hack that up and get it into pieces about that big. Everything's ready. In other words, here's my chicken broth. Everything's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit sear saute on high. And that's pretty much it. Now we're going to take the bacon. I don't wait on it to get hot. There's really no need in that. I'm just going to get it in here and let it start uh, rendering, whatever you want to say, and kind of browning that uh, or getting that bacon cooked. And then... Uh, very soon I'm gonna drop these and then not long after that so y'all hold up just a second okay so right quick you can see that's been in there probably two minutes I mean it doesn't take the ninja long to heat up but I'm not gonna wait any longer on my onions I'm gonna drop them they're not it's not gonna hurt anything again I don't heat the ninja up I put everything in and let it you know just let it happen as it does it there's no reason we're not searing we're just uh, rendering you know now one thing uh, people don't appreciate about the Ninja or Instant Pot or a lot of things is when you're searing in a pot It's not like a frying pan. You know when you got a frying pan it's you got splatter going everywhere And it's not like you don't hear but it's a lot better than a frying pan if you know what I mean Okay, so I'm, I'm not waiting much longer. There's really no need in it. I'm gonna get the cabalsa in there And let it get to browning because you know, I don't pull any of mine out a lot of people remove bacon and put it back on and all that I don't. It all goes in it's one pot one time. So I'm just gonna mix that around, get some of that bacon fat on that uh, sausage, that kibasa, and uh, we'll let this cook just a minute. Okay, so we're we're where I want it. That looks perfect to me. I am going to knock the ninja all the way off, just just because I want it to cool down and. Uh, there it is, it's off. No keep warm or nothing, it's off. Now we're gonna do is drop, drop some of this cabbage in. And I may make a slight mess. It's not uncommon. 
make sure you can see what I'm doing and you can and I'm not gonna go very much higher I mean that's plenty of cabbage that was a huge head of cabbage so I'm gonna put that there in fact I think I am gonna get it all in and I'd like for it to cool down a little bit by the way you wouldn't want to put your liquid in uh, before you put this cabbage if you poured that cold liquid on that hot oil you would get a violent reaction in fact it's probably not a bad idea to let it sit just a minute before you do but you definitely want your cabbage on top so we're going to go real slow with one cup to begin with i'm doing that backwards as far as the cup's concerned but okay wasn't a big deal then we're going i'm going to say a cup and a half so that's about what i'm doing right there and then i'm going to put pepper on it and uh, i'm going to stir it just a little bit no big deal because it's kind of as you can see it's, it'd be pretty hard to stir it a lot better than a uh, than a skillet but still you know you're not going to get a lot of stirring action here so in fact i may give up on that part it's not a crisis once it cooks down we will okay so luckily i was watching my video when the camera when the memory card ran out so back to where we were somewhere along in here the, the, obviously the cabbage is in uh we're going to put the lid on we're going to leave it unlocked in the unsealed position with the with the vent all the way up and turn that direction we're going to turn the ninja back on hit steam for 10 minutes, I'm going to lower that to 8 because we can check it after that and see how it looks. And plus, give me a minute to stir it so and, and see how it's doing. I'm going to hit start. I'm fixing to steam some cabbage. Y'all hold up. So I, I've already touched, touched on this on my steaming shrimp video, but I'm going to do it on a cabbage one too. The Ninja is the only one. If you see, it's counting down. All right, and you also see that's unlocked and that red pin is not up. To my knowledge, the only device on the market, and maybe I'm wrong, but the Ninja is the only pressure cooker that you can steam in without locking that down. And then the pin has to come up before, say, the Instant Pot or the others will start counting down. And if you ask me, you're not steaming at that point, but I'm, an, I'm not really preaching on it, just saying this is a device that will steam, and if you ask me, steam what is true steam. But now, you know... And we've got six minutes and 40 seconds, and we're going to take a look at that uh, cabbage. Hold up. Okay, so we're coming up on the last five seconds, and as you can see, the pen never came up. Now, I will say, with shrimp, I ran into several times that pen will come up, and sometimes it does on steam. But it doesn't matter because your vent's unlocked. It can't build pressure. So we're counting up already. It's completed its cook. So technically, I mean, and, and we can open that lid. So that's what we're going to do. And there is steamed cabbage, and man, that's, that steam cooking off there was pretty warm on my hands. But let's see what we got. I'll stir it up a little bit and see if it's done, but it, it looks good. It looks, it looks right. I think what it needs is some butter. But I'm going to put that lid back on while I get my butter. Well, maybe not. Let's just put the butter on right now. I think it's done. I'm going to try and get a piece out to see. Because some of that's a large head of cabbage, and... Uh, it's done that's perfect so I'm going to drop my butter on I'm going to give it a stir around a little bit and uh, we're about to put some of this in a bowl I got to get that sausage and that bacon to the top and you can see it coming up and that's going to be excellent that uh, the cabbage is perfect so I'm really anxious to uh, get a plate of that. And by the way, I've got my lid that I use from a different skillet that works perfect. I mean, I've got several that'll work. <laughs> and But I mean, there's nothing wrong with the one I have, which I don't even know which one I got. It's just one that goes on one of my, you know, several skillets. But there you go. That's what it looks like. We're going to let it sit just a minute. I'm even going to knock and keep warm off. That cabbage is done. I'll be right back. I'm getting me a bowl. Okay, so 
for truly steamed cabbage uh, with bacon and uncured kielbasa. It is absolutely fantastic. I mean, we love this dish, and there, there's a reason. It's because it's good. And, uh, again, you, you, you can do it a lot of different ways, but there, it's really hard to beat steamed cabbage, and now you can see that. And the, the truth is, it is absolutely perfect. The cabbage is cooked to perfection. Eight minutes is the number. Uh, I've tried the sausage and the bacon spot on. I'll say that, even though I cooked it. Anyhow, I appreciate y'all watching my videos. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. The Ninja does a lot of things and nothing else does. I got nothing against it. But, hey, it brung me to this party. I like to dance who, who brung me. But the Ninja's got some features that it can't do. Nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. And it's, 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 a, it's a king of the world right now. The Ninja, I feel like, well, let me say it. Nobody's paying me to say it either. I mean, this is my opinion. I feel like Ninja's kind of chasing their vacuum cleaner market or something. I feel like they need to be... This is the best thing since the microwave. I don't know how many times I've said it. The, the, the Instant Pot was. Well, you take what the Ninja does, and it's like a microwave that does more. Anyhow, in the kitchen with John Sanders, jelly007.com. Y'all come back to see me. I appreciate y'all watching my video. Promise you, try this. If I'm wrong, call me out. And I mean that. This is, if you like cabbage uh kielbasa and bacon you're gonna like this and you're gonna love the way it's cooked i promise i guarantee it y'all come back to see me i'll put some cards up here for y'all to go what they call cards <laughs> or something exit screens or something but anyhow you can subscribe to me over here my big old head will be right around in here be floating around you can touch it and there'll be something that youtube says by your watch habits will be something you want to see of mine so y'all watch it Thanks a bunch. Uh, Y'all come back to see me. Get you a Ninja Foodie. Or if you got one, cook this recipe and see if I'm wrong. Bye, y'all. Thanks.